Good evening, everyone. I'm Carmine Jamey. The Wyoming Cowboys football team had a big game Saturday. It was their first Mountain West game of the season, and they were hosting UNLV. Head coach Craig Bull leading his 3-1 team onto Jonah Field. The Pokes were eight-point favorites hosting UNLV in a beautiful war memorial whiteout. But at the start of the second, the Cowboys were down 10-7. Then Sean Chambers takes a designed run 17 yards for the touchdown. After a missed extra point, the Pokes go up 13-10. Four minutes later, same score. Chambers fakes the handoff and hits a wide-open Josh Harshman in the center of the field. The Natrona County grad takes it the rest of the way for a 56-yard touchdown to put the Cowboys up 10. And look at this. He celebrates with his fellow NC grad, Brett Brenton, in the end zone. Then another NC grad, Logan Wilson, does this. Wilson with the interception. He returns it 21 yards to the three-yard line. And Wyoming settled for their second field goal in a row to go up 26-10. Now same score with just over a minute left before halftime. Cowboys with all the momentum. Chambers hits a wide open Jackson Marcote who makes a move, gets in for the 20 yard score. Wyoming puts up 26 unanswered points in just the second quarter. They take a 33-10 lead at halftime and go on to win huge 53-17. Quarterback Sean Chambers had two rushing touchdowns and two passing touchdowns. He spoke about how being benched against Tulsa helped on Saturday. I told Coach Bull it, it sparked something underneath me, it lit a fire underneath me. I don't know uh, what, how long the fire is going to burn for, but it's going to burn for a while. And I just got that, you know, the eagle eye and I went out there last week and, you know, just tried to do my best to help the team win. Took that same passion attack today. And, um, you know, the team really just rallied around each other and we just, you know, we clicked tonight and it was, it was good. The Pokes are now 4-1. and one. They have a bye week before playing at San Diego State on Saturday, October 12th. And while the Pokes had one loss, the Broncos had three of them coming into Sunday. Joe Flacco trying to lead his team to its first win of the season. No score in the first quarter. It was looking good. Flacco fakes the handoff and hits the Broncos' first round pick, Noah Fant, on the tight end screen. Fant cuts through some Jacksonville Jaguars. He gets into the end zone for his first career NFL touchdown. Broncos up 7-0. But the Jags came back. Now the Broncos trail by six with a minute 30 left. Not anymore. Flacco finds Cortland Sutton for his second TD of the game, and the Broncos go up one. But the Jags went back down the field. And with four seconds left, Jake Lambeau had this 33-yarder for the win, and he made it. Two home games for the Broncos and two two-point losses on buzzer-beating field goals. Here's Vic Fangio after his team falls to 0-4. There's no pity parties in the NFL. You know, we just got to keep going. Um, you know, the losses are our own doing. You know, injuries don't have an effect on those. We just got to keep going. But um, nobody's feeling sorry for anybody here. Just another one of the things you have to deal with in the NFL during a season. We're not the only team that's had them. And unfortunately, we have bad news for the Broncos' second-year linebacker, Bradley Chubb. The fifth overall pick two summers ago suffered a torn ACL Sunday, and he's out for the season. Well, former Wyoming Cowboy quarterback Josh Allen also suffered a serious injury yesterday. But before that, he reached across the goal line for this touchdown against the Patriots. He helped the Bills keep the game close against the Super Bowl champs. But then, scary moment at the start of the fourth. Josh Allen scrambles. Then he gets a helmet-to-helmet -helmet hit from Jonathan Jones. That is tough to watch. Allen down, hardly moving, and on the replay, you see the helmets collide. Tough to watch there. Allen leaves the game in concussion protocol, which he's still in. The Bills coach, Sean McDermott, said Jones should have been ejected for the hit. And many others wondered what would have happened if a Bills defender hit Tom Brady like that. For now, Josh Allen is questionable for next week. We wish him the best. And over the weekend, we had our state tennis tournament in Gillette. Here you see our boys team champions. The Powell boys made history. This is the first time a boys or girls tennis team from Powell has won the state title. Individually, Cheyenne South's Brendan Locke won his third consecutive state title at number one singles. For the girls, Cheyenne Central and Sheridan tied for the state title, a tie. Last year, the boys had a shared state title. The top four girls teams were separated by just four points. Central's Emily Needham won the number one singles after winning number two singles last year. Congratulations to our new team and individual state champs. Staying at the country club, the Pokes golf teams competed this weekend. 
The Cowgirls hosted the Wyoming Desert Classic in California and came in seventh out of ten teams. The Cowboys golf team played at the William H. Tucker Invitational in New Mexico and finished 12th out of 16 teams. The low cowgirl for the weekend was Erin Sargent. She shot a three-day total of 13 over par to finish 6th out of 61 golfers. On the men's side, senior Dan Starzynski played the best of the Cowboys this weekend. He finished with a three-round total of just one over par to come out in a tie for 16th out of 90 golfers. The Cowboys play again this weekend while the Cowgirls play in two weekends. Much better weather than Eric Dean is forecasting for tomorrow. A high of 46. <gasps> we might need that. It's a long winter ahead of us. Buckle I'm up. That's right. And fall's just starting, and it's a long winter. <laughs> and it's winter time. Unbelievable. But, uh, Unbelievable. Golfers, Unbelievable. you got to follow the golfers. Wherever they go, it's going to be warm. That's right. We'll cover them. <laughs> we'll be yeah. right back.